Our nervous systems are tender and exhausted from the last few years. Our children are more anxious, depressed, and confused. I find myself still tucked into home with the garden sanctuary as my guide into the next steps. This chamomile was started from seed last year and this spring gives to us in huge abundance. To encourage the plant to keep producing flowers, you want to pick them often, in late morning after the dew has dried, before the hot sun of the day. Pop the flower heads off and they will quickly regrow rather than go to seed. Sweet chamomile with its apple scent calms our nervous system, relaxes us from anxiety, and soothes our stomachs. It also calms our skin from eczema and dryness. As a young mother, I would drink chamomile tea before nursing to relax my body as I learned to care for my first baby. My kids had tiny little mugs when they were little and I would fill them with this tea when they became wired or overtired. The tiniest bit of honey transforms this tea into a dessert, the perfect ending to a long day. Oregano, tender and young, is loaded with antibacterial properties and antioxidants. It also makes a lovely tea when combined with other herbs. I pinch the tops, which also encourages the plant to fill out and keep producing leaves. My partner loves dried oregano on pizza, and we have run out, so I will dry this throughout the season to take us into winter. Finally, we'll pick a few chai flowers to dry for a jar on the herb shelf. We will use these in butters, potato salads, on eggs and salads, and sprinkled on a bagel with cream cheese. There will also be chai vinegar made from the fresh flowers infused into white wine vinegar for salads. I don't always wash my herbs because we use no chemicals and often they're not dirty at all. If I wash them, I simply fill a bowl with cold water and gently soak them for a moment, then dry on towels. You will have bugs in the food you grow. Laying the plants on the towels allows the bugs to have a chance to leave and find new homes, and you can do this step outside in the shade for about 30 minutes if you like. This potager garden is being designed for healing and natural support. I think about the needs of my family and go listen to the plants. It has taken me a couple years of working with some plants to understand them and use them. The most important thing is to simply plant them. Herbs can be dried in a dehydrator or left out to air dry for a few days. Once they are dry, store in glass jars, label with the date, and keep out of direct sunlight. I use masking tape and add any other information I might want to have, like if it was a full moon or new moon harvest, so I can be aware of the energy. This simple, tender act of making home resets our nervous systems, connects us to the earth and soil, and provides healing for our body, mind, and soul. Growing these plants is a sacred choice and will fill our homes with magic and beauty. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate you.